Okay, so Mjolnir got stuck a little bit. Just a scotch. Welcome to Rock Solid Rig. In this video, we are showing you day three of our time out at the Ozarks. If you like what we're doing, make sure you click that like, share, and subscribe button. And if you want more content like this, make sure you click that notification bell. It'll let you know when we drop something new. Before we get into day three, we're going to show you a quick recap of the past two days. And if you want to see those videos in their entirety, make sure you're checking out the Ozarks playlist. It'll give you that plus so much more. We got bubbles on the exhaust. Okay, tires under. On day three, we wanted to try to get back on track, so we went towards the purple area that we had skipped to find our camping spot. As with everything else that we've done up to this point, the Ozarks had different plans. So we ended up having a lot of photos that were taken for this portion. However, we're not really able to get a lot of video footage. Everything that we are going to show you up to this point was really tight. There was not really any safe way for us to get out and take some footage. So you're going to get to see a lot of the things from a different perspective in this one. And we hope you enjoy it. Hold up right there just a second James because this is a pretty big downhill section and it looks like there may be a tree at the bottom but I can't tell. You can come on down, there is a tree, but we can crawl over it. As you saw, we were able to get over this log. This area is really tight, and it's an area that you can tell has been driven on, but one that definitely has not been maintained, which is kind of what we find most of the time when we're out here. When you go to an ORV park, you can find that the trails tend to be more maintained, but when you're out in the national forest, these roads are not maintained. So it takes some guts and a little bit of 
just resolve that your beautiful rig is not going to remain pristine. However, what we ran into next was not at all what we were expecting. As you can see here, this down tree was one we just could not manage to get around. There wasn't anything that we could do to make it past this. And once again, we ended up having to turn right back around and head back towards the entrance. Things did not get any better from here. Did you hear it? The mystery sound that we are trying to pinpoint has been bugging us for quite some time. We can't quite figure out what's going on with it. In fact, it is something that we think started here at the Ozarks, not entirely sure, um, but one that has been bugging us for quite some time. So if you have any recommendations, I highly recommend going back, listening to it, and see if you can figure out what the sound is. It has been driving us nuts. If we're able to use your suggestion and we're able to figure out what it is, we'll totally pin you at the top of the comment section. That way others that might encounter this similar experience will know what to do. Now this is tight. You can see here that all of this terrain is just taking a beating on the paint job of our vehicles, but you know what? There is no better way of finding views than taking a risk and just going out there and trying it. So we highly recommend if you are very in love with your paint job, probably overlanding like this is not for you. But if you want to go out on an adventure and just see some really crazy stuff, then we highly recommend it. Now we're going back uphill from the direction that we came. And so what you'll find here is that the pictures are in reverse, but we still had a really great time. There was so much beauty in this area that it really did make it worth it, even though we had to turn around and we're super lucky i mean you just cannot get shots like this anywhere else unless you go off the beaten path and unfortunately to get to that type of shot we had to encounter yet again another problem Okay, so Mjolnir got stuck a little bit, just a scotch. James is going to try pulling him out with the strap first. go. Maybe we'll take this side. As you can imagine, day three ended there. We actually headed back towards camp after that, got cleaned up and got ready for dinner. We appreciate you. We're so excited to be back out on the trails and until next time, y'all just keep on jeeping.